Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. As you can see, I got a little bit of a different setup today. We got the camera coming almost straight over the field. And I have my scoreboard so that I can keep track of the score, the hits, and the errors for you. So that at any point when you're watching, you'll know what's going on. So I do have to move everything over a little bit um, because it is a little bit difficult to keep score since I'm left-handed with the score sheets where they are. But anyway, we will get underway with this. Um, the Royals are batting first and on the mound today. For, or the Orioles are batting first, excuse me. And on the mound today for um, Kansas City will be Mark Gubiza. And there's his card. If you can see that, he was um, 15 and 11 with a 304 earned run average. And he'll be dealing to start the game off to Paul Blair. This is game two of my second round matchup between the 68 Orioles and the 89 Royals and the um, Orioles won game one, if you will recall, by the score of one nothing. So let's see if there's a lack of offense on that level now. There, That's a 3-6, which is a ground ball shortstop A. That's one out. Don Buford gets a 3-6, which is a pop out to third. That's two away. And Frank Robinson is up, and he gets a 1-7, which is a fly ball to left. So we now go to the bottom of the first. Let's see if it'll put me in the bottom of the first. Okay. All right. So we're in the bottom of the first now. And uh, Willie Wilson is up for the Royals. And on the mound today for the 68 Orioles is Dave McNally. And Wilson starts off with a walk. So he is aboard. And uh, let me mark all those guys down as having been out. And uh, Kevin Seitzer is up. He gets a 4-6. And that also, let's see, we've got to put McNally in. We didn't even write McNally's name in here. And he did walk a guy. And we did not write Gubaza's name over here. So anyway, that is a 4-6, which is a pop-out to short. So Seitzer is out, one away. George Brett's up. He gets a 3-8, which is a walk. So that's the second runner allowed by McNally, both on walks. And that brings up Bo Nose, Bo Jackson, 5'10". That is a catcher card X. The catcher for the Orioles is Echebaron, and he is a 3. And that is a 7 and a 3, which is a safe at first on air dribbler. And now the bases are loaded. And that is also an error for the Orioles. And uh, let's see. Bo Jackson gets aboard. And there's only one out. Bases are loaded. The Orioles are going to keep the infield back. Eisenreich is up. He gets a 2-7, which is a ground ball B to the third baseman. That does score a run, though, and there's two outs. Eisenreich with the RBI and the earned run. And also, got to get that error for Echebaron, which I did not record on the sheet, although it is on the scoreboard. And Tartable is up. And he gets a 6-5. And that is going to be a home run 1-16. to And that is a home run. Danny Tartable. Hitting a three-run homer. Uh, 
That's going to be a hit and a home run, but it is not um, three earned runs because they should have been out of the inning. So, And I think they got a run before that, right? They did get a run before that. So there is four runs in for the Royals. And they also have um, one hit. That's the first hit. So Mike McFarland comes up. And he gets a 4-9, which is a ground ball second base C, and that is the third out. McFarland getting out, but no. Oh. oh, right, right. McFarland was a defensive replacement last game. So anyway, um, the Royals have a 4-0 lead, and we are going... To the top of the second. And uh, in the top of the second, we will have Boob Powell facing Gubaza. Boob Powell gets a 3 4, which is a fly ball to center, one away. Davy Johnson gets a 3-4, which is a ground ball to the shortstop, two away. And Kurt Bleffery gets a 4-9, which is a single. And that's the Orioles' first hit. Hit allowed for Gubaza. And Brooks Robinson comes up, and he gets a 1-6, which is a double 1-5, to five, single double asterisk. And that will be a single. So runners are now at the corners with two outs. There is two out. And that's his first hit of the series. Etcheberrin up. And he gets a 3-11, which is a pop-out to short, and that's the third out of the inning. And no runs come across for the Orioles. And we go to the bottom of the second. The only bad thing about this scoreboard is if I accidentally touch something wrong and like an extra time... It'll add something that didn't happen. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Frank White um, gets a 2-7, which is a fly ball to left. That's an out. Kurt Stillwell gets a 4-6, which is a pop-out to short. And up steps Willie Wilson, and he gets a 4-7, which is a strikeout. First strikeout for McNally and no runs for the Royals in the first inning. We will go to the top of the third. And up steps Belanger to start the rally here to try to start a rally. And 4-5 uh, is a ground ball to the second baseman. One away. Belanger out. Paul Blair comes up. He gets a 1-8, which is a single. So Paul Blair gets a hit. Ah, see, I gave that hit to the Royals. It's not like they won't get another hit, though. Um, Buford is up. And he gets a 311, which is a ground ball shortstop B. Now let me see. That is. That's actually two down. And, uh, and so that was Buford. 
And Frank Robinson's up, and he gets a 110, which is a ground ball shortstop A. And no runs come in for the Orioles. As we go to the bottom of the uh, third. And I'll have to remember not to record the Orioles' next hits, or the Royals' next hits, so hopefully they get one. Kevin Seitzer is up. That's a 111. Pop out to second base is one away. George Brett comes up. He gets a 1-4, which is a single 1-9. to nine. Maybe this can be the hit, and it isn't. It's instead a line out to second base. And that brings up Bo Nose, Bo Jackson, 6'5". That's going to be a home run, 1-16, to 16, or a triple one way or the other. And that's actually a home run by Bo. And that is another hit, definitely. And so we have not only another hit, but we have another run. And so, yes, it is now 5 nothing Royals, and Jim Eisenreich is up, and there is two down. And that is a 4-5 on McNally, which is a fly ball left field. So Eisenreich is out. Now, the Orioles won game one, and they're visiting. So it isn't quite as important for them to win this game as it is for the Royals to win it. Boog Powell is up. 6-4 is a walk. So Powell gets aboard. And let's make a note here that we're in the top of the fourth. So Powell with a walk. And Gubaza with his first walk of the game. And Davey Johnson's up. He gets a 1-6, which is a strikeout. One away. Kurt Bluffery is up. That's a 5-10. And Gubaza, which is a fly ball to center. That's Willie Wilson, and he's a 2. That is a 5. It's looking like an out. And it is... Oh, wait. Uh, let's see. It is an out. Two away. Bluffery is out. And Brooks Robinson comes up and he gets the 3-8, which is a pop-out to shortstop. And no runs come in for the Orioles. In the fourth, we go to the bottom of the fourth. And Tartable is up for the uh, Royals. He gets a 3-8, which is a walk. And really, McNally is having a very poor outing here. An uncharacteristically poor outing. McFarlane is up. He gets a 3-6, which is a single one to eight. McFarlane. This is McFarlane we're talking about. And he does get a hit. So that's another hit for the Royals. Very bad game for McNally. <laughs> Two runners are on. No one's out. White is up. And he gets a 1-4, which is a pop to short. One away. Kurt Stilwell is up. And he gets a 2-8, which is a home run 1-3 or a fly ball. And it will be a fly ball to left field B. So that's two away. That's all McNally really needed. Wilson up for 11 is a fly to left. The left fielder for the Orioles is Frank Robinson, and he's three. And that is going to be a seven. I believe that's going to be an out. And it is. So Willie Wilson gets out. We go to the um, top of the fifth, I believe.
where the Orioles have got to try to get something on the board very quickly because time is running out for them, in this game at least. Andy Etcheberrin gets a 4-2, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. That's Frank White. He is a 2 at second. And that is a 19. 19 and 2 is an out. Etcheberrin's out. Mark Belanger's up. He gets a 5-2, which is a fly to right. The right fielder is Eisenreich, and he's a 2. That's a 17. I'm thinking that's an out, and it is. Two away for Belanger. And Blair is up, and he gets a 2-6, which is a ground ball, third base, B. No runs in the fifth for the O's. We go to the bottom of the fifth. And Seitzer is going to be at the plate. He gets a 6-7 on McNally, which is a strikeout. And uh, yes, um, McNally is still out there. George Brett gets a 2-7, which is a single. So that's a hit for the Royals. Bo Jackson's up. He gets a 6-8, which is a strikeout. That's two away. And Jim Eisenreich is up, and he gets a 2-6, which is a ground ball first base B. And he is out. No runs come in, though they did get a hit. We're going to the top of the sixth. Where the Orioles, really time is running out for them. They're down 5 nothing, and they only have two hits off Gubaza. Buford is up. That's a 2-10, which is a single. So Buford gets aboard with a hit. Frank Robinson's up. He gets a 4-7, which is a strikeout. One away. Boog Powell is up. He gets a 5-10, which is a fly ball center. That's Willie Wilson, and he's a 2. That is a 20. That is an out. Two away. Powell retired. Boog Powell. And Dave Johnson is up, and he gets a 5-7, which is a strikeout. Gubaza is proving to be just a little too much for them, although that was his first strikeout of the day. And we go to the bottom of the sixth. And Tartable is up. 1-9 is a strikeout, one away. He, only, he just missed a home run right there, too. McFarland is up. He gets a 2-6, which is a ground ball third base A. That's two out. And Frank White gets a 6-7, and that is a strikeout. And here we are, top of the seven. Kurt Bleffery at the plate. He gets a 1-8. That's a walk. Brooksy, Brooks Robinson, gets a 1-9, which is a triple one or a double. That's going to be a double. And that is another hit for the Orioles. Puts runners at second and third with no outs. 
that was Brooks Robinson. Etchebarren's up. He gets a 1-4. That's a ground ball shortstop, A++, but the infield was not in, so that's one away. And uh, let's see here. Etchebarren is out. And I don't know if a runner's at second and third still. Belanger is up, and he gets a 4-6, which is a strikeout. That's two away. Second strikeout for Gubaza. Paul Blair up, and he gets a 5-2. That's not looking good. It's a fly to right. The right fielder is Eisenreich. He's a 2. That is a 14. And uh, that's an out. 15 would have been nice, but no, not a 14. And no runs. In the seventh for Baltimore, we're going to the bottom of the seventh in a 5 nothing Royals um, lead. And they will take Dave McNally out of the game. He pitches six, gives up four hits, strikes out five, only walks three. As far as base runners, he would, did well, but he gave up two homers, and one of those happened with uh, um, unearned runners on base. And Roger Nelson coming into pitch. Still well up at the plate. He'll be facing him. He's the first Royals batter to face Nelson. He gets a 5-6, which is a ground or um, is a strikeout. Went away. So Stillwell is out. Willie Wilson up the plate, top of the order. 2-8 is a strikeout. So Nelson strikes out the first two guys he faces. And Seitzer's up, and he gets a 2-10, which is a ground ball, third base, B, and he is out. And no runs come in for the Royals. We go to the top of the eighth. Don Buford is up at the plate. He gets a 2-7, which is a double one to seven or a single. And that's a 12. So what was this? 2-7. Uh, so it's a single. Buford getting a hit. And, uh, yeah, that's a hit for the Orioles. Frank Robinson up. He gets a 111. It's ground ball third base A. So that's a double play. Two out. And the Orioles are still as anemic at scoring runs in game two as they were in game one. But they won game one. 111 is a line out to first base for Powell. And we go to the bottom of the eighth. George Brett up. He gets a 6-7, which is a walk. Bo Jackson gets a 1-6, which is a home run 1-13 or a fly ball. And it's going to be a fly ball to left field, one away. Eisenreich gets a 6-10. And that is a ground ball second base C. That moves Brett, I believe, to second. But there's two down. And... Danny Tartable's up, and he gets a 5-10, which is a ground ball third base. Third base is Brooksy. He's a 1. That is a 15. I'm going to guess that's an out, and it is. Danny Tartable is out. And now we go to the top of the ninth, where the Orioles need one run. Or five runs, not one. One run would be... <laughs> one run isn't going to do it. 
So they need five runs right here. Davey Johnson up. Bubazak could get a complete game here. And he gets up the single, though, to Davey Johnson to lead off the ninth. Got to think he's a little gassed, but he's got to be running on that high of knowing that he has a 5 nothing lead. And uh, the Orioles get another hit. Kurt Bleffery gets a 4-6, which is a strikeout, one away. And Brooksy gets a 6-9, which is a single, single with no asterisk, so they're just going to hold them, and it's two runners on. Seventh hit allowed by Gubaza, but of course no runs, and that's what really counts. Echebarren's up. He gets a 3-5, which is a strikeout. That's two down. And they're down to their final out with two runners on. Belanger up. They aren't going to let that happen. They're going to pinch hit for Belanger. And the pinch hitter is going to be... I have a pretty good idea who it should be. It is going to be Maru, Merv Retton. <laughs> and uh, so Merv Rettenman is going to pinch hit. And he gets a 3-8. That's going to be a walk and it's going to load the bases. And that's exactly... I mean, they would have rather had maybe a home run. I don't know, but they do have the bases full of Orioles with Paul Blair up. And he gets a 1-9, which is a home run 1-7. to seven. And that is a home run for Paul Blair. And the Orioles are unbelievably within one run. On a grand slam. That's another hit for the Orioles. And they got four runs. And it's 5-4. And they're going to keep... Uh, what has to be tired Gubaza out there on the mound because he only needs one more out and Don Buford it's up and he gets a 4-8 and that is a ground ball to second that's Frank White he's a 2 that is a 19 and that is an out Buford is retired and a valiant effort by the Orioles goes by the board as they lose the game 5-4 to four, the way that um, well not quite the same way but kind of the opposite of how they won game one, won nothing. So the final score is Royals five, Orioles four. The Orioles having gotten eight hits and committed one error. The Royals having gotten four hits, committed no errors. And that means that this series is tied at one game apiece. And we will see you in Baltimore for game three.